run will begin in one minute. Okay. Yep. So, because uh, I have some uh, issue on my on my laptop, so Tiemma will control the slides for you today. So it, it, sure. it's, very, it's very simply, you just say uh, next slide and then she next will. Slide, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all good. Yeah. Right. Shall we start in one minute? Okay, then we're going to start now. Hello, everyone. Hey, we're here to start the meeting. I'm the Osingwan of Zhou. We're going to start the meeting. We're going to do some of the construction sites. 咁就其實係好想就可以透過一啲嘅誒分析或者資訊咧，俾到香港人一啲誒更多對海外物業嘅一啲理解啦。咁誒，所以因為係咁咧，咁就因為最近做 BNO 嘅事件咧，其實引起好多人嘅關注，尤其是想去移居到誒英國呢個地方。咁但係英國呢個地方咧，相對係會比較大嘅，除咗英格蘭之外咧，仲會有譬如蘇格蘭嘅地方啦。咁所以誒喺香港其實相對地比較少咧，其實會講到蘇格蘭嘅地方。咁所以我哋今次講呢個講座咧，就希望可以透過誒呢個講座，可以俾香港人多啲認識蘇格蘭呢個地方啦，同埋可以有多少少嘅一啲嘅資訊，睇下呢個地方係咪一個值得投資嘅地方。咁我哋會分開兩個方面去講呢樣嘢嘅。咁首先我哋就會先講誒蘇格蘭誒加斯國呢個地方嘅一啲文化誒經濟或者一啲嘅投資嘅一啲情況啦。然之後咧，我哋就會有一個項目咧向大家介紹嘅。咁誒往後咧，我哋會提問誒會有啲誒提問，咁就會大家有啲對答咁樣樣啦。咁就以下嘅時間咧，咁就交翻俾阿菲爾瑪，我哋嘅主持啦，咁就去誒誒進行下邊嘅會議嘅。唔該曬你，菲爾瑪。No problem. Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for joining, and Fiamma. And so, yeah, we are honored to have Grant as our guest today, and he will give us a closer look at Glasgow and also answering a few questions that has been frequently asked by the audience. And meanwhile, we are also very happy to have the UK investment consultant Adam and Casey with us today. And they will be briefly introducing a new project, Glasgow project, and that, that's just launched last week. Hi, Grant. Good morning, Fiona. Thank you uh, Hi, for having me yeah. today. It's a pleasure to be it's on. Great. Yeah, it's great to have you here. Thank you very much for coming. You're very yeah, welcome. The people, yeah. Before we jump into Glasgow, let me share a bit uh, more of your background with the audience. Yeah, so um, Grant is a wealth management director of IP Global, 
and he has been has over 18 years of experience experience in supporting clients to build investment portfolio. Um, Grant has joined IP Global in 2006, and since then has advised on over 250 million US dollar worth of global property investment. That's amazing. So, Grant, how is Glasgow? It's great. Yeah, it's a wonderful city. Uh, it's a super city. I've been there many times over the years, and I always enjoy my uh, my trips there. So I'm looking forward to sharing more with the audience today, all about Glasgow. That's perfect. Okay. Yep. Right. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all keeping well. Uh, as I say, my uh, presentation will be on Glasgow, a super city, third largest city in the UK. That's a great picture of um, the cathedral which sits in the middle of uh, Glasgow on, on, a, on a super bright sunny day and they get some really good weather during the summer uh, up, in, uh, up in Glasgow. So hopefully this presentation will be very helpful for you to share more on the opportunity to invest in Glasgow right now. Uh, next slide, Piyama. Yep. So a little bit of background to uh, Glasgow. So it's the third largest city uh, in the UK. It's got a population of uh, 633,000. It's got a very big uh, Asian population, actually. Uh, lots of uh, Asian people there study there, uh, work there, live there. Um, and there's a variety of uh, big employers uh, and, and super shopping outlets. There's six main shopping centers in Glasgow. Um, and on the screen there, we've put a number of the key brands that you will, you will uh, know, obviously, from Hong Kong. H&M, Lego, Pandora, Hollister, Ernst & Jones. Uh, there's all the top brands in Glasgow. Um, but also, outside of the city, you've got amazing parks, amazing outdoor space, uh, beautiful national parks, um, and, and, and wonderful outdoor areas to, uh, to explore. Next slide, please, Fiamma. Yep. So if we think about Hong Kong, Hong Kong is very safe uh, day and night. And it's the same with, uh, with, with Glasgow. On the index here, you can see that uh, Glasgow is very safe uh, during the day uh, and at night as well. Um, and obviously, this is one of the key things when people are looking at Glasgow, they are conscious of making sure it's a very safe city to, to live in, and absolutely, uh, it is a safe city uh, uh, to, 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 to go to when you compare to uh, uh, Hong Kong and London. Uh, next slide, please, Fiamma. So, so if we look at the economy, the economy is going through an amazing uh, uh, change right now. Glasgow used to be famous for shipbuilding and manufacturing. And in the last number of years, it's changed to an economic powerhouse in the UK. Uh, it's a huge uh, tech innovation center. There are five or six key tech innovation areas right the way across the city. There are lots of big corporates there, uh, as discussed. The corporates you'll see in Hong Kong are in Glasgow, Morgan Stanley, Deloitte, Ernst & Young, KPMG, BNP Paribas, PwC, Standard Life, JP Morgan, Amazon, we could go on and on and on. There are lots of big corporates there, lots of big financial centers. And the, in, in Glasgow, the, the average earnings are quite considerably above uh, the UK national average. So there's a lot of wealth creation uh, going on the ground and unemployment has come down significantly over the years. There is lots and lots of opportunity uh, for work in a variety of, of industries. And we are seeing lots of jobs being created in, as I say, tech, um, healthcare, financial services. Uh, and we see that continuing over the next number of years. And when we look at uh, the Glasgow economy as a whole, it's way above average for uh, Scotland. Uh, and also uh, the UK, uh, uh, the UK average as well. Uh, ne next slide, please, Gemma. So, in terms of uh, Glasgow, it's the most populous city uh, in uh, in in Scotland. Um, uh, in terms of the, when we're looking at housing, and obviously housing is. Uh, 
uh, a key consideration, um, obviously, from our company's perspective. And supply v demand is, is an area that we look at. As we know, lack of supply and strong demand drives, drives pricing. I was speaking to uh, an agent in Glasgow just the other week and they were saying the city is absolutely booming uh, because of economically, lots of job creation. As I shared with you, um, lots of jobs have been created in the tech sector. And average earnings are around about sort of 40,000 pounds in Glasgow, which is about 10,000 pounds above the national average in the UK. Um, if you couple that with the fact that um, over the next number of years, Glasgow needs 1,500 homes per year, but actually there is nowhere near enough being built. Just last year, there were 725 homes. So there is very, very strong undersupply, and we see that driving prices over the next number of years. Next slide, please. Yeah. Okay, from a connectivity perspective, Glasgow is extremely well connected. If you look at uh, access across the UK and beyond, um, there's a superb uh, uh, airport network, over 150 destinations can be reached glo globally. Uh, from car, you, you're at the next uh, city in Scotland, uh, the second city in Edinburgh in just over an hour. Uh, trains, uh, I'm going to share a little bit more on trains in a second when I talk about the new high-speed rail link, but there is already very good connectivity from Glasgow across the UK and within the city uh, with a very superb uh, metro system that I've used a number of times before, which gives great access across the, the city. Uh, Fiamma, next slide, please. So in January of this year, we had it announced that the HS2, the high speed rail link, was going ahead in the UK. So the HS2 is one of the largest infrastructure projects in Europe. It's going to link London to Birmingham, to Leeds, to Manchester, to Liverpool, Newcastle, Edinburgh and Glasgow. Uh, and it's going to massively reduce the journey times, for example, between Glasgow and Birmingham and Glasgow and London. So if we look at on the screen, some of these journey time reductions, you will be in London uh, in less than four hours from Glasgow by train. You can just hop on a train and you'll be there, uh, for having left in the morning, you'll be there by lunchtime into London. It will be absolutely incredible. Uh, and, and again, this is one of the uh, big drivers that we see of pricing uh, in property in Glasgow. And, and we know from Hong Kong where we have new infrastructure, New, 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 new metro stations, uh, new high-speed links, etc. Infrastructure drives pricing, and that's exactly what we are going to see uh, in, in, in Glasgow, without a question of a doubt. Next slide, please, Fiamma. Okay, so what else is going on in Glasgow? So education in Scotland as a whole, uh, is huge. Uh, in Scotland there are a total of 250,000 students of which 20% of these are international students. Many of these come from Asia um, and actually in Glasgow and in the suburbs around Glasgow there is 160,000 students. Education is an extremely strong brand in Scotland. There are a number of key universities there, University of Glasgow, Glasgow Kelvin College, Glasgow Clyde College, lots of uh, established universities. And when the students actually uh, graduate in Glasgow, many of them stay. Indeed, Glasgow has got the highest retention rate uh, in the whole of the UK at 51%. And that tells us something about the superb qualities uh, in the city of Glasgow. It's a very attractive city where when graduates uh, graduate, they want to stay, they, they can get employment there, uh, and they're looking to, to make a life there because of the attraction of the city. Next slide, please, Fiamma. Okay, one of the other attractions is uh, cost of living is, 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 is great. Um, I mean, if you look at uh, sort of restaurants, you'll pay uh, typically up to 15 pounds for a, for a meal. Uh, a coffee from two pounds, uh, a pint, uh, 
of £2.70, which when you compare to some of the other major cities of New York, Toronto, Sydney, Paris and Dubai, is, is, is considerably cheaper. So, you know, we've already shared that, uh, you know, average salaries in Glasgow are sort of £40,000, way above the average, but actually the cost of living is very inexpensive. So, so this is a huge uh, uh, attraction for, uh, for Glasgow. Next slide, please, Fiamma. Okay, so I'm just going to share uh, a little bit um, uh, background just to IP Global briefly. Uh, as Fiamma was saying at the outset, IP Global is a research-driven uh, end-to-end property investment company uh, where I've been since 2006. Uh, I've helped clients with over 250 million US dollars of property. Uh, as a business, we're based here in Hong Kong. We've transacted 3.2 billion US dollars of property. Um, we invest uh, in three main markets, Portugal, UK, uh, and Germany. Uh, of course, today we're talking about uh, the city of Glasgow. Uh, and we help the clients all the way through from once they have invested, we can introduce them to the lawyer, we can help find the mortgage, and we can do everything for lessons and management. So help the client with the rental of that property. Yeah, thank you, Grant. <clears throat> You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank so you hopefully, very much that's, uh, hopefully yeah. that's helped you all, and uh, I'll stay on the line. Thank you very much. Yeah, I have a, actually I have one question, uh, two questions. Sure. Yeah. Ah, uh, what's the difference between uh, Scotland and England? The main difference, you say? Yeah. Uh, it's a good question. I mean, uh, the, pe the people are super friendly. <laughs> um, uh huh. It's, uh, it's, it's just a great city of, op it's, it's just a great country of opportunity, I would say. I mean, the, uh, uh, as I say, economically from those slides that you saw, Fiamma, uh, the growth in Scotland is seen to be uh, quite a bit away above the UK national average. Um, so economically, I would say right now it's in a really good place um, in terms of sort of, uh, you know, living, you know, Glasgow, super friendly city, friendly people, um, and, uh, you, you know, just a great way of life in terms of lots of outdoor space, etc. cetera. Um, and, you know, when the HS2 high-speed rail link comes in, it's going to be an absolute game changer. You know, you're going to get to London in less than four hours, so it's going to be incredible. Yeah, that's, that's amazing, yeah. yeah. What impresses... That, what surprises you the most of Glasgow? Uh, I, must admit, I have to say, uh, you know, up until a few months ago, I was I wasn't uh, as as aware of uh, you know the, the the boom that's going on in Glasgow. And uh, I, I had a call with a, an agent there a few weeks ago, and they were sharing with me that the city is absolutely booming. And uh, as I say, this has really been the fact that it's transformed from manufacturing and shipbuilding, uh, where unemployment has come down massively over the years. And as I say, it's become a huge creative tech hub with about five innovation centers across the city. So I, w I was really surprised to, to hear all of this. But um, on hearing this information, it was just uh, so pleasing to hear what uh, opportunities Glasgow presents. That, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, sounds love it. Yeah, thank you very much for sharing, Grant. Um, You're really learned a lot. Yeah, I believe the audience. You're very welcome indeed. I'll stay on yeah. the line. Yeah. I believe the audience also has more like, concrete, concrete understanding of the place. Of the place. So, so the next, I will pass the microphone to, to Joel. Joel. And he's, and he's going, going to work through the project, project now with Adam and Casey in Cantonese. Thank you, Joe. Okay. Okay.聽到我。咁就誒，跟住我哋就邀請阿Casey同埋Adam就去幫我哋講解下一個新嘅項目啦。咁就誒，先個PowerPoint係啦。好，咁唔該曬Casey。Hello,大家好,早晨啊,咁多謝頭先啊,Grind咁個好精彩嘅一個演講就關於Glasgow而家嘅一個investment case同埋佢本身一個background啦。
。咁誒，跟住落嚟咧，我哋我同 Adam 就會同大家介紹我哋 IP Global 喺 Glasgow 有一新嘅項目，就叫做 Bell Street Apartment。嗯，咁大家可以喺第一個 slide 度就會見到呢個就我哋項目嘅 CGI 啦。咁誒，可以講一講嘅就係嗰個地方點解值得我哋會揀個投，點解呢個地方會誒唔多你值得去投資咧？啊，咁唔該 ，Fiona， 你 slide。Thank you。咁大家都可能見到啦。咁而家誒頭先阿君都講過，就係而家誒蘇格蘭咧就好多唔同嘅誒 regeneration 嘅嘢發生緊。咁其實喺市中心入邊主要有三個大嘅 regeneration。啊，咁有 Amos 啦、Jason 同埋一個誒就咁一個叫做 G I C 嘅 G L D Grid 嘅。啊，咁我哋個項目咧就係 locate 咗喺 Glasgow 市創新區，就係嗰個叫做誒 G C I D， 就係右手邊橙色嗰度。啊、嗯，咁其實呢一個創新科研區咧，就、呃、如果我同我嘅客户嚟講咧，就有少少似香港嘅科技園，因為其實佢、呃、做嘢都非常之、呃、相似嘅，佢基本上係、嗯、香港科技園兩倍嘅面積啦，一百七十誒一百七十 acres 嘅，咁佢就係 University of Strathclyde 去做嘅一個科誒、呃、創新中心，咁基本上已經、呃、由第一階段已經完成咗噶啦，就耗資大約一億英磅到。咁當中咧，佢誒喺呢個創新區入邊有十八個唔同嘅科研嘅中心，而同一時間亦都有三十幾間唔同嘅公司誒同埋企業喺度做緊一個佢哋嘅公司喺度成立嘅。Next slide， 唔該 ，Fiona。唔該。咁誒，咁、呃、我哋個 project 就叫做 Bell Street Apartments 啦。咁你見到咧，咁其實喺嗰個地圖上邊咧。誒、um, 就 Glasgow 市中心嘅話咧，如果你話相對嚟講咧，誒、um, 就需要只需要二十分鐘就可以行到去市中心誒、uh, Central Station 噶啦。咁基本上有我哋個 project 行去市中心嘅途徑上邊咧，都會見到誒、uh, 都會可以經過曬頭先阿 Grant 講過一啲購物天堂啊，啲 Merchant Cities 啊。而因為其實我哋嘅項目都係非常之好嘅位置啦，都係市中心入邊嘅，所以基本上。誒周邊所有嘅地方都會有曬你平時需要誒生活嘅必需品可以買到啊，有 coffee shop 啊，啊會有 restaurants 啊，會有一啲誒誒超級市場啊，所有嘢都係基本上提供到噶啦。咁頭先阿 Grant 都 touch base 過啦，誒就講過其實誒基本上好多香港大嘅企業喺蘇格蘭都有佢哋公司嘅。咁喺誒地圖上邊橙色嗰啲咧，就係一啲香港人都會熟悉嘅企業，例如 Deloitte 啊。Anson Young 啊、PWC 啊、Morgan Stanley 啊，咁呢啲全部都係 within 十五至十分鐘步行有我哋項目可以去到嘅地方。咁其實我都可以再誒、呃、再講下關於我哋 IP Global 啦。咁其實我哋所有嘅 project 咧，誒、呃、都有一啲好 common 嘅嘅嘅嘢嘅，就係、是、基本上二十分鐘步行來可以一定可以去到市中心，而附近五分鐘咧。周邊都會有相應嘅公共交通。我想問下咧，誒，本身我想問下打岔，我想問下嗰個附近嗰個供應同埋嗰個出租嘅情況係點樣樣？因為我好多都誒啱啱都有好多誒、呃、聽眾都想知道。係，咁其實啊，關啱啱嗰個誒嘅嘅 slide 都有講過，咁其實咧誒、呃、蘇格蘭呢個房屋市場，就算佢呢個 area 咧，都係好供不應求嘅。佢每年咧就需要大約一千五百個單位去供應。咁但係其實如果計翻上年嚟講咧，佢只係誒落成咗就只有七百至八百個嘅單位。咁而加埋你見到頭先誒都講過啦，可能好多大學生佢哋都 over 有五十個 percent 嘅 retention rate。咁好多大學生佢讀完書之後都會留低喺度繼續做嘢，甚至因為依個咁多誒、呃、創新科技啊、科研嘅誒、呃、development 咧，咁其實會令到好多唔同嘅公司嚟依度誒。呃誒開啦，同埋會請好多唔同嘅人，所以種種嘅需求、種種人人口嘅增加咧，都會令到呢個供不應求嘅情況，只不過越嚟越嚴重。啊、嗯，咁所以你話誒、呃、租務上邊咧，我哋睇翻我哋根據我哋嘅嗰邊當地嘅 letting 食公司咧，佢提供翻嘅資料咧，咁基本上一房同埋兩房嘅單位咧，最快最快好多情況都係兩一兩個禮拜內就可以揾到租客同埋租出，而個 average void period 咧，兩邊都係 within。誒廿二十至三十日左右嘅，主要個租客係都係學生為主。誒，咁我哋呢個 project 嘅話咧，咁睇翻又會嗰個地理位置嘅問題啦。咁因為始終佢行路去誒，見到 Sir Strapley 都係只需要十分鐘，同埋去翻市中心都係二十分鐘。咁我哋呢邊都會誒 target 翻一啲十八至四十五歲，可能係一啲學生啊，或者啲 young professional。誒，因為始終誒。
格拉斯哥入邊嘅新樓唔多，所以佢哋呢啲年青人或者比較後生啲嘅話，佢哋可能都要求想要啲比較 modern 啲啊，或者靚仔啲啊，啲 design 靚啲嘅嘅嘅 project 嘅 product 去住。咁呢個就我哋會嘅 target market 啦。誒、呃，想問多樣，而家嗰個誒誒嗰個誒、呃、項目咧，其實佢主要 target 都係呢一類嘅嘅學生啦。咁就其實主要供應係而家係供應係兩房啊，房類係邊一類為主咧？誒、呃，咁我哋呢一個 project 咧，就主要有有 studio 啦，亦都有一房，亦都有兩房嘅。咁所以就會 cater 曬，可能係一啲學生嘅話。咁佢哋因為而家誒疫情嘅問題啦，可能都唔會再考慮同你 share 噶啦，咁就會供應翻 studio 同埋一房。咁如果我哋再誒、呃、再 target 啲誒 young professionals 嘅話咧，就會 target 就會有兩房，因為可能係兩個誒、呃、一個伴侶啊，一個 couple 咁樣，所以就會有一房同埋兩房。甚至有陣時而家我哋見到好多誒、呃、英國嘅趨勢啦，就係、是、好多人佢哋如果有少少 spare 嘅錢嘅話咧，佢哋唔會，佢哋都會甚至乎考慮。一個人住兩房，因為佢哋可以有一個 bedroom 同埋一個可能係做嘢啊，或者我哋做 gym 嘅地方，佢自己改咗一個可能自己一個 mini gym 咁都會有嘅。誒、呃、嗰、那個其實誒、呃、另外其實比較多人擔心嗰、那個誒、呃、轉售嘅情況，而喺嗰邊嗰個轉售情況或者一房兩房個轉售情況係咪都好弱嘅咧？誒、呃、嗰邊一手，因為其實誒、呃、我哋睇翻今年嘅數據咧，其實。就誒基本上誒每個月都有 active transaction 嘅，咁因為始終誒頭先都講過啦，因為始終誒蘇格新樓嘅供應唔多，所以呢一啲比較誒新新式啲啊 modern 啲嘅 apartment 咧，喺呢個租務市場喺二手市場嘅咧都會比較受歡迎嘅。誒、嗯，另外就其實。今次會唔會包埋即係個項目嘅外形係點啊？或者每個 four pan 有冇啲你哋推介嘅一個單位啊 ？Emma， 介唔介意去下一個 slide？ 我係有一個更加大嘅 aerial map。咁呢個項目頭先見到呢個就係一個 Google Earth 入邊一個 screenshot 做出嚟嘅啦。咁我哋個誒 apartment 就住 Bell Street Glasgow 啦。咁大家見到前面有一個 Merchant City， 左邊有個 People Palace 同埋。誒再前啲就係 Glasgow Central Station， 咁基本上就係、是、啊、um, Merchant City 就係阿 Grandma 頭先講嘅一個蘇格蘭嘅喺 Glasgow 嘅一個購物天堂，咁佢哋嗰邊佢嗰入邊總共有四百間餐廳，誒、呃、亦都有好多酒店，咁基本上一個遊客比較受歡迎嘅地方，可能就有少似香港嘅銅鑼灣，有好多 boutique 啊，好多 restaurants 啊，誒、呃、咁樣嘅，咁跟住就誒、呃、Glasgow Central Station 啦，咁其實 Glasgow Central Station 就可能大家去歐洲都知道。誒、呃那個地方嘅 central station 咧，就係、是、嗰個地方最中央嘅地方嚟㗎啦。咁所以大家見到由誒 Bell Street Apartments 行過去咧，誒、呃、步行如果誒、呃、就要我哋就估計二十分鐘啦。但係我諗香港人嘅步伐咧，咁就十至十五分鐘就可以去到㗎啦。所以都係非常之近嘅。誒、呃、而左手邊 People Palace 咧就係、是、一個比較大嘅一個公園啦。咁都係提供到一個比較誒、呃、生，即係先阿關都講過嗰邊嘅 cost of living 啊，同埋佢哋嗰個生活指數都比較高，所以都會有呢一啲唔同。配套一啲綠化嘅設施俾我哋嘅租客，咁我哋見我哋個 area 就叫做 Trongate 啦。咁其實 Trongate 咧，誒、呃、傳統上先係誒蘇格蘭喺中世紀開始嘅一個市中心，咁亦都因為隨誒隨住呢個時代嘅發展咧，咁、那個 city centre 就慢慢慢慢搬咗落去而家嘅 Glasgow 誒、呃、Central Station 嗰個位置啦。啊、嗯，跟住變埋，如果去下一個 slide 就可以睇到我哋個項目嘅啲圖片同埋啲相嘅。係啦，咁大家都見到啦，咁呢個就我哋嘅嘅 apartment 啦。咁其實我哋 IP Global 就誒成、呃、個 apartment 就五十六個單位嘅。咁我哋 IP Global 就 exclusive 咧，同誒發展商攞咗總共就二十四個單位，咁就有一個 studio 啦，五個一房同埋十八個兩房嘅。咁就由上個禮拜三開始銷售到而家啦。誒咁誒一房兩房一房嘅大誒大細就通常 around 六百尺，而兩房嘅就就 around 八百尺，六百至八百尺左右。咁你話計翻平均尺價咧，誒、呃、都係比較平嘅，都係二百六十蚊一磅，二百六十磅一尺。所以誒咁你話如果對比翻其他英國城市，可能係 Manchester 啊、Leeds 啊、Birmingham 嘅話，咁大家都可能會見到其實誒嗰、呃那個價錢的而且確係有少少分別嘅。咁我哋就覺得誒、呃，因為始終租翻出嚟計翻，始終當地嘅租務嚟講咧，每個月嘅租金都可能做到六百至八百磅。
咁所以嘅話，嗰、那個做租金回報咧，有機會係做到六個 percent。咁就係我哋比較中意一啲比較性價比比較高嘅一個 product 啦。咁之後咧，誒、呃、可以再落下一個 slide。咁因為呢個項目咧，就係、是、下年七月咧就完工嘅。咁其實呢個就我哋上個禮拜。所以兩個禮拜前喺當地啱啱叫我哋發展商提供佢哋嘅相片，咁大家都見唔到誒嗰、呃那個建嗰、呃那個誒、呃、工程已經開始咗噶啦。咁誒、呃，然之後接下來就會交俾 Adam 去講一講有啲咩誒單位係值得推介，同埋可能高呼下一啲 financial 嘅嘅嘅嘅 details。好，大家大家好，我係 Adam 啊。誒 ，Sam 可唔可以去下一張 slide 唔該？啊 ，sorry， 誒上上一張唔好意思啊，即係 four plan 嗰度再上一張啊，唔該。啊 ，four plan， OK。four plan 係唔該，係係誒咁咧，我哋誒而家嗰個 project 咧，我哋會推介就係你見到一個一房單位啦，同埋有一個另外一個喺六樓嘅兩房單位，咁大家可以睇下嗰個間隔其實都誒幾幾好嘅，即係。係斯斯正正正正方方，咁變咗就唔會誒有啲三尖八角嘅情況出現，或者誒呃呃咗啲尺數啊！我哋會即係我哋會咁講，就係話呢啲就係正正方方就靚仔啦咁樣。咁誒嗰個至於幾錢啊價錢方面，或者係個 cash flow 係點咧？誒、呃、麻煩去下一張 size 係點啊？咁咧大家會見到咧，咁其實我哋一房即係啱啱 B 四二個 unit 啦，係一房咧，我哋做緊誒十七萬磅。咁兩房咧就誒兩百零松啲，咁誒尺數方面咧就六百幾尺一房啦，咁兩房就七百幾尺。咁誒、呃、其實誒、呃、我因為因為太多細節嘅 course 啊，咁我大概誒、呃、即係唔想阻大家時間講太多細節嘅 course， 咁啊純粹係講一講，其實我哋。誒好快你要擺得幾多錢啊？做做做到幾多回報啊？咁樣咁好快咁樣 go through 下。咁假設用一個好誒好 typical， 即係一個好典型嘅例子，就係、是、我哋通常會 advise 我哋嘅客係借誒六成六六十五 percent 嘅 mortgage， 即係誒其實你擺低擺低三十五 percent 嘅錢。咁誒利率方面大概啦，三點三 percent 左右啦 ，roughly 誒 more or less。咁誒接誒咁，通常我哋就你喺啊、嗯，譬如你真係好中意個 unit 啦，你真係想 reserve 啦，買啦，咁其實你有四個禮拜嘅時間咧，去同律律師即係個律師，我哋嘅我哋誒、呃、當地嘅律師咧就會同你去去簽合約啊，做一啲啊 kilikala 嘅東西。咁誒、呃、你喺 on exchange， 即係你簽合約嗰陣時咧，你就要擺低十五 percent 嘅啫，其餘。咁之後你會問啊嚇，咁好，咁我做完同老師簽合約，咁你要做咩啊？咁咧就唔需要做啲咩嘢噶啦，咁就等到下年七月，咁咧先俾埋尾數嘅啫。咁成個 payment process 其實都好簡單嘅啫。咁即係話你你簽合約個個，你簽合約嗰陣時，你需要俾嘅就係嗰十五 percent 咯。同誒，咁即係當然加埋一啲雜費啦。咁另外去到 on completion， 即係下年七月嘅時候，你就俾埋尾數。價跌印花税啊，咁如果即係嗰啲誒 mortgage， 咁你都要俾錢嘅，即係嗰啲行政費啊咁樣，佢哋㗎啦，咁包曬所有嘢，咁如果你見到咧一個一房咧，你大概係真正擺低係啊七十八 k 啊七十數啊七萬八房啦，另外咧兩個兩房咧係九十誒一百萬至一百萬一百樓下啦咁樣，咁誒咁誒 ，Fiona 下一張 slide 唔該。咁咧，至於其實咁你個回報方面，誒、嗯，我哋會話個回報其實都好可觀啦。啱啱 case 啊，誒、呃，都有提過個回報大概有六個，做到六個 percent， 誒，六個 percent 啊，誒，咁其實真正誒，你每個月真係要俾嘅錢，其實真係好簡單嘅啫，即係得個管理費啊，同埋誒咩叫物物業託管費咧，就其實誒、呃，我哋因為包包埋你租務幫你揾下。誒幫你揾租客嗰啲管理費，咁所以我哋會收個費用叫物誒叫做物業託管費咁嘅意思啫。咁另外你仲要還埋你個 mortgage 咯。咁你每個月淨還曬所有錢，還曬所有 mortgage 啊，俾曬所有支出，咁你每個月都有百零磅袋落袋。咁呢個係 cash flow positive， 係誒、呃、其實都真係幾可觀嘅。咁誒咁大概一個誒好、呃、簡短。嘅一個 financial 一個流程啦，咁當然如果你對誒
之後仲有啲咩問題嘅？關於呢啲誒 cash flow 方面啊，或者關於個盤方面有啲咩問題啊？誒，即係都歡迎歡迎你發問嘅。我唔該曬一條，我想問下咧，而家嗰邊即係誒 Gasco 嗰邊嘅個誒 income tax 同埋嗰個印花税增值税呢方面，其實大概係同英國即係誒一個英格蘭嗰邊其實個差別係點樣樣嘅？其實其實差唔多，如果講誒 capital gain tax 咧，都係跟翻英國嗰邊嘅十八廿八，即係誒 threshold 就係五萬磅。十八誒，即係你係你一年裏邊，你唔係即係你唔係一年 ，sorry， 你賣走咗嘅時候，咁當然你誒、呃、你賣走咗嗰個 profit， 如果係低過五萬磅嘅話，就十八咯，收曬十八 percent 咯，高過五萬磅咧就廿八 percent。咁至於如果你話誒嗰個誒、呃、income tax 咧，咁其實佢個 threshold 咧就十二萬五，留下咧就唔使收嘅，咁係 mortgage deductibles， 咁即係話其實。你見到啱啱我哋個 cash flow， 你每個月都係一百六十磅，咁即係其實咧一年咧，其實你係誒、呃、根據依樣嘢咧，你係唔需要俾 income tax 嘅。咁下一個 threshold 就去到誒十九 percent 啦，已經。嗰、那個嗰、那個誒、呃，另外頭先嗰個租務嗰度咧，你會幫幫誒、呃，你哋都會幫手處理埋噶嘛？其實而家嗰個過往嘅你哋出租嗰個情況或者管理嘅情況係點樣樣？啊，因為誒、呃，如果我哋用翻英國做例子咧，因為我哋做 Glasgow 嗰個盤咧，嗰、那個 stack 唔多啊。咁誒、呃，但係如果我哋從翻成個英國去睇咧，我哋出即係我哋依間管理公司點解會用佢咧？同除咗係因為我哋姊妹公司嚟嘅之外咧，佢哋個成績咧係真係優秀嘅。喺英國係講緊九十九十八九十九個 percent 係揾到租客，係 keep 幫你 keep 到個租客。所以點解我哋一直咁多個物業，我哋都全部係用佢咧咁樣？咁所以係係好誒 promising 嘅個數字。另外就係、是、誒、呃，其實而家誒，因為我見到可以做到 mortgage 啦，因為其實而家英國嗰邊都好多銀行其實比較難做到 mortgage。我見到而家個單位其實有啲一百八十萬左右，其實呢個數額其實都可以做到 mortgage， 同埋點樣會點樣做法？其實一一般咧，我哋誒，我哋除咗誒有物誒呢個物業託管嘅服務之外咧，我哋都直接一條龍有物 mortgage 服務。咁我哋同另一個 mortgage broker 合作。咁誒、呃，即係喺香港有時人識講誒，即係廣東話，佢有時講英文。咁咧個做法咧就係我哋咧會 refer 誒、呃、個客去佢哋度啦，跟住嗰佢哋咧就會同你哋做一啲 fact find， 即係去了解下你誒、呃那個背景。咁然後咧。就 base on 你嘅收入，再再 base on 你嘅收入啊，你背景咧，去揾一間適合嘅銀行咧去借。咁點解我哋會話六十六成半啊？其實咧喺我哋去 source 每一個 project 之前咧，我哋已經同發展商做誒，同埋銀行咧傾好曬，係咪一定借到錢？啊，我嘅客人係咪一定攞到 mortgage？ 係，我哋先做。如果唔係嘅話咧，我哋唔做，因為我哋嗰個做法係誒，我哋要係叫做我哋叫做 end to end， 就係誒一站式嘅，就係、是、誒、呃、你嚟到，你買樓幫你攞 mortgage， 幫你揾租客。咁所以喺 mortgage 嗰方面啊，或者揾租客嗰方面咧，就誒唔、呃、需要太大擔心。咁跟住接翻頭先，可能繼續再俾多啲誒誒資料俾大家啦。咁而家我哋喺蘇格蘭咧，誒、呃、做到嘅按揭咧，咁其實基本上全英國啦。咁基本上你層樓高過誒十、呃、萬磅誒、呃、高過十萬磅嘅話，都借到錢噶啦。咁誒、呃、我哋就誒、呃、預計就做到六十 percent 啦。咁亦都係有誒、呃、subject to individuals 嘅。咁我哋都見過有其他客户咧，佢哋可以做到八十個 percent 嘅 mortgage 添嘅。咁當然啦，咁誒、呃、通常你借得越多嘅話，你嗰個利率就會越高。咁誒六十至六十五 percent 嘅話咧，嗰、那個利率就 around 三至三點五 percent。咁如果高過七十 percent 嘅話，你都預個利率要到高過四個 percent 噶啦。哦，其實嗰幾幾好喎、啊，嗰、那個嗰、那個個 terms 其實，因為見我見到最近其實好多人都問到嗰個 mortgage 都幾啊難借，尤其是英國嗰邊。所以如果你話蘇格蘭嗰邊可以做到一個咁嘅，那個 mortgage 嘅話，其實個 finance 係比較容易輕鬆好多。係啊，因為其實講真，誒、呃、可能大家會投資物業呢、這個呢、這個 SS class 嘅原因就係因為佢可以借錢啊嘛。咁如果誒、呃、件事借錢嘅事難嚟講嘅話，咁我諗大家都誒、呃、可能唔會考慮呢個 SS class， 所以都要 make sure 我哋做到嘅所有項目
、呃、所有俾到嘅客人揀嘅 product 都係借到錢嘅咯。嗯。誒、呃，最後想問一樣嘢啦，而家嗰個誒、呃那個單位，譬如如果佢有興趣去買啦，咁我個成個程序係應該點樣做咧？同埋個單位會唔會包埋家私或者之類嘅？誒、yeah. 個、uh, 成個成個流第一答你第一個問題先，成個流程咧就係、是、啊，如果你係想誒，即、呃、係、就是、對某一個 unit 啊好有興趣，咁我哋咧就會誒、呃、會同你 reserve 去同你保留咗佢先，咁誒、呃、就會係我哋喺我哋嘅 central system 度攞咗個 unit 俾你，咁咧你就要咧做啲咩咧？就我哋會 send 啲文件俾你嘅，係初步嘅文件啊嚇，誒、呃、就就簽誒、呃、簽咗你確認係要買呢個 unit。咁咧，同埋咧，要俾一個行政費用。咁呢個行政費用咧，就二萬五千蚊港紙，二萬五千蚊港紙。咁或者其他 currency equivalent 呢、這個，即係二千五百磅都得嘅。咁誒、呃，視乎睇下你俾咩 currency 啦，冇所謂嘅。咁你俾完之後咧，咁跟住我哋就會確認咗，哦，你真係對呢個 unit 係有興趣啦。咁咧，我哋就會將你成份資料啦，即、就、係、是、你填咗嗰份表咧，俾律師。咁律師咧就會再誒、呃，就會同你聯絡噶啦。咁喺律師同你聯絡嘅時候，你有四至六個禮拜去完成簽嗰個買賣合約。咁喺簽嗰個買賣合約，啱啱都講過，誒、呃、去翻我嗰個 cash flow 都講過，就係你要誒俾、呃、首期咯，同埋一啲律師嘅雜費啦。誒、呃，即係不過嗰度即係最主要，你係要俾首期啦嗰筆錢。咁之後你要做咩咧？之後你冇嘢做啦。按揭係邊個時間做嘅咧？按揭即係按按揭個時間咧，就係、是、其實咧，我哋咧有啲啊，你我我哋可以即刻咧，將你同即係介紹你去我哋啊嗰個 mortgage broker 嗰度同我哋傾一傾。咁多數其實個流程係點咧？就係喺佢起好前，即、就、係、是、下年七月之前嘅五六個月咧，我哋就會做咗一個正式嘅 application。依、这個係英國傳統嘅做法，即係不嬲都係咁做嘅啦。就係、是、即係我哋今日咧係唔會 grant， 唔會唔會話批幾錢俾你嘅，唔係咁樣嘅。係喺你起好之前五至六個月，咁咧我哋就會正式將你個 application 咧俾銀行啦。咁銀行咧就會去做一啲 valuation 啊，做一啲審批啊。咁通常誒喺、呃、起好之前兩三個月就 confirm 你有呢個 mortgage 啦。咁咧就係咯。咁啊去到七月俾埋尾數，就係咁樣啦。係，但係我哋可以做嘅嘢咧，就係、是、誒、呃、可以先同我哋嘅誒 brokers 先做一個好簡單嘅 fact find， 咁我哋個 brokers 咧就會先將先將啲資料俾翻相對嘅銀行，咁、那個銀行先就可以俾到個 pre-approval。咁誒、呃、一個 pre-approval， 通常我哋經過我哋案例咧做個 pre-approval， 如果係 apply OK 嘅話咧，咁通常去到最尾誒、呃、真係誒、呃、嗯完工前做嗰個 application 嘅時候咧，都會通過嘅。就好少情況話我咗 peer approval， 但係去到最尾唔 approve， 咁係好少呢個情況發生嘅。咁我哋都可以喺個客人可能俾個訂金之前啊，甚至俾個誒俾、呃、個首期之前咧，我哋先可以令到佢知道其實佢係可以借到錢係冇問題嘅。我問到就係誒幾時 complete 啊個單位？誒、呃、呢、這個呢、這個呢、這個項目係下年七月 complete， 所以頭先見到可能啲相其實嗰個 construction 已經開始咗㗎啦。另外答翻你第二個問題，你話跟唔跟家私咧？誒、呃，你個客人個客人可以自己選擇啊，但係我哋都會提供嘅。咁大概一房你預四千零磅咯，五房就啊五五千零六千磅啦嘅家具。咁係一啲 basic 嘅誒，即係俾啲 bas basic 生活誒、呃、有嘅東西咯。嗰啲家具就係、是。攞咗個 check 就係 ready to move in 嘅，咁但係其實英國嗰個收樓個標準咧，誒、呃、都同香港買新樓都非常之似嘅，咁基本上其實你話廚房啊、櫥櫃啊、廁所啊，咁嗰啲基本嘅嘢咧都會喺曬度噶啦，咁只不過誒、呃那個 furniture pack 係令到誒、呃、個客户可能買咗個 furniture pack 之後咧，嗰、那個單位係真係 ready to move in 已經有埋曬碗碗碟碟啊，所有嘢，咁就會令到，因為其實都好睇誒、呃、當地嘅租客嘅，咁有啲租客可能。誒佢誒有興趣嘅話，咁佢會 prefer 有曬 full fully furnished 嘅，咁亦都有啲租客可能係會 prefer 自己去買一啲誒、呃、furniture 嘅，咁都 up to 嗰、那個，其實都 up to 嗰個業主自己決定究竟做唔做呢件呢件事咯。啊，另外就有人問到就車位，車位而家係得十個啦，咁係咪會再另外要再買，或者定係要點樣可以用到個車位？冇錯。
，我哋我哋呢個盤咧，嗰啲車位咧，其實誒、呃、就先到先得。咁睇下誒，即係邊個邊個買先就俾佢啦咁樣。咁而家咧真係嘅，因為誒、呃、車位實在唔係好多，咁啊得翻幾個有車位。咁誒、呃，但係誒、呃，如果如果你真係有興趣咧，我係我哋可以盡量盡量盡量攞個車位俾你咯。車位就係一萬一萬磅一個車位，就 on top of 嗰、那個誒、呃、單位嘅價錢。嗯，好，唔該曬。头先都见到有个问题系问嗰个系 freehold 嘅数，系啦，冇错。咁诶，苏格兰我哋呢个 project 咧系 freehold 嘅，嗯，就即系永久嘅。应该系我据我所知系苏格兰所有地方都系 freehold 嘅，系咪？系啊，其实系英国好得意咧，有 leasehold 同诶 ，sorry， 即系诶下边啦，英国南边有有 freehold 同 leasehold 分分嘅啫。但系苏格兰咧嗰个唔系 leasehold freehold， 嗰个叫 ownership。咁即係等同於 free hold， 跟住你買完之後咧，永遠都係你噶啦，就係咁嘅意思啊。但但係最近咧，英國嗰邊都有誒唔、呃、同嘅報道都講緊會唔會 restructure 呢個 lease hold 呢個問題。咁基本上我睇翻啲資料咧，佢哋有機會 potential 喺誒未來會誒、呃、考慮 restructure 將 lease hold 呢樣嘢拎走，就變曬個 free hold。據我所知就誒、呃、最後一個問題嗰、那個 income tax 同埋 capital cam tax， 我呢個我哋之後再。喺 WhatsApp 嗰度同大家講解翻，因為我哋有個 Excel 表嘅，到時可以 send 俾大家睇。咁就今日都差唔多啦。咁誒，咁、呃、多謝曬阿 Grant 啦，誒、啊、Casey 同埋 Adam 啦，仲有 Fair 嘛。Thank you。誒呀，不如大家係啊，如果大家有啲乜嘢問題咧，咁我哋下邊咧會有條 link 嘅，咁就可以大家可以 WhatsApp 啦，咁就去問一翻有啲誒嘅資料，或者頭先一啲嘅。誒、呃、問題你未問到嘅，咁我哋都可以解答翻嘅。咁唔該曬大家先，今日唔該曬各位 ，thank you。thank you，thank you very much，thank you。拜拜，拜拜，拜拜，拜拜。